welcome back to the next session of answers tutorial today i'm going to solve another problem for heat transfer from extended surfaces i'm going to solve the analysis of radial fin you can see the diagram on the screen so this is how the radial fin looks like i have given the description of a radial fin in my previous videos i am going to give you the link of it please go through that video you will understand radial fins and its application in depth so let's get started with making of this radial fin i'll make the exact structure that you see over here i'll get started with answers now first i'll go to steady state thermal and double click on it i'll rename it as radial fin next i'll go to geometry right click new design modular geometry i'll go to units millimeter xy look at next i'll go to sketching i'll first draw a circle and then another one i'll give it dimensions Say D one is fifty, and D two is sixty. This is the innermost portion. Now I'll go to extrude, apply. Say I give it a depth of eighty. Generate. Now on this surface. I'll make a new plane. Generate. I'll click on Look at. I'll go to Sketching. I'll use Polyline. Right click, Open End. Next, I'll go to Circle, and I'll choose the outermost circle. Next, I'll go to Modify. trim i'll remove the extra parts that i don't need then i'll go to constraint vertical i'll just see to it that these lines are vertical and i'll just check if this line is horizontal next i'll go to dimensions So this value I give us ten. B four also I give us ten. And H two I'll give us ten. Next I'll go to extrude. You can see the sketch has got highlighted. I'll click on apply. I'll change the direction from normal to reversed, and I'll generate. When you do extrude, instead of add material, use add frozen. and generate next i'll go to create pattern i'll select this body apply i'll first change the pattern from linear to circular then i'll go to axis i'll choose the xy axis from here apply then i'll go to evenly spaced and number of copies i want 8 i'll generate so this is how a radial fin can be made this completes the geometry i'll go to model and double click on it I'll go to geometry solid I'll change the material to new material okay if you want you can choose engineering data at the start itself I'll go to engineering data sources 
जनरल मटीरियल्स स्टैचूज एल्यूमिनियम अलॉय प्रोजेक्ट अपडेट प्रोजेक्ट आई डबल क्लिक ऑन मॉडल अगेन आई जस्ट चेंज द सॉलिड टू एल्यूमिनियम अलॉय ईच टाइम बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट ऑल द फिल्स टू हैव द सेम मटीरियल In fact, the inside cylinder also I'm choosing as aluminium alloy. If you have a particular project to solve, you can choose any other material of your choice. So I've allotted aluminium alloy material to all of the solid materials. I'll go to mesh. I'll change sizing to fine. Update. Next, I'll go to analysis settings. Say this inside portion. I'll insert a temperature of say two thousand, and the outside temperature. I'll press Ctrl and select the rest of them. Right click, insert temperature. Say it is twenty-five degrees Celsius, and I'll select each of these bodies. I'll press Control and select each of them. Right click, insert convection. Say the film coefficient is five. I'll go to solution. Right click, insert thermal temperature. Right click, insert thermal total heat flux. I go to solution, solve. I go to temperature. You can see over here the beautiful temperature profile. This is going to indicate the loss of heat to the environment. and this is total heat flux which indicates how much heat is lost to the environment per unit area the application of radial fin is very simple say if you have a circular hollow cylinder and you have to lose heat to the environment in that case if i want to increase the area i will increase the area radially so for radial increase of area what we use is a radial fin So this is how a numerical of radial fin is to be solved. I hope you have understood the numerical. If you have any doubts or you want me to solve a numerical, do let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next session with another numerical of answers tutorial. Thank you.